On day one of the NWA 74th anniversary weekend, former TNA world champion, former WWE superstar, and founder of Control Your Narrative, EC3, made his debut for the promotion in a match against Mims, a match that he completely dominated in and won. Then the next day, he would face Tom Latimer in a match that would go off the rails and end in a no contest after Control Your Narrative roster members invaded the ring, attacking Latimer and officially kicking off the Control Your Narrative invasion of the NWA. But that all took place on the weekend of the 28th of August, and we're now nearly on the 28th of October. So much has happened since Control Your Narrative invaded NWA. Adam Schur has left Control Your Narrative to return back to the WWE as Braun Strowman. The Control Your Narrative tour has been cancelled, and worst of all, worst of all, the We Live in a Society shirt was unlisted. I don't actually know when that happened, but I discovered it myself recently, and quite frankly, I'm heartbroken. I was planning on buying one. But what's actually happening in the NWA right now? What has Control Your Narrative been doing in their invasion of the National Wrestling Alliance? In this video, we're going to check in with Control Your Narrative and see how Control Your Narrative has been doing. Starting with the Season 10 premiere of NWA Power, and EC3 is making his NWA Power debut in an interview segment. EC3 is making his NWA Power debut, like I just said. He speaks about Tom Latimer, and he cuts his usual promo where he says a whole lot of words with a whole little meaning. Basically, just cuts his, uh, his stone of thought. He reads them out loud. Though he does outright say that this is not an invasion. And, uh, pff, sorry, Ethan, the, the title of my video has already been decided, unfortunately. However, he says he will be on next week's Power in action, having a match perfect and that he wants to be the nwa world champion so hey at least we learned something in this interview uh we learned a bit about his motives not really we just know that he wants to be world champion which is the motive of every wrestler so whatever but i guess we may as well go to the next week of nwa power and it's ec3 versus deontay marshall in ec3's nwa power in ring debut now i was expecting this to be like a 30 second squash match but this ended up being about four minutes with about three minutes 45 of that being slow ec3 offense and those 15 seconds being the small amount of offense that deontay got in before ec3 put him away with the one percenter and makes him tap to the purpose which is his chokehold submission Straight after victory though, EC3 doesn't get his hand raised and instead joins the podium with the Control Your Narrative crew. And it's really weird. He says this is not an invasion, but rather it's an awakening and talks about all the guys behind him and what they went through and how Control Your Narrative saved them. He's talking about Control Your Narrative like they're a cult. Which is an interesting start. If Control Your Narrative is simply just a cult faction in the NWA, then I see that as a good thing. Embrace the fact that Control Your Narrative is weird and have the NWA just be perplexed by it all and acknowledge it. Anyway, interesting to see where they go from here. Let's go check out episode 3, shall we? Oh, he's not on episode 3. He wasn't on it entirely. But it's main evented by Tyrus instead. Okay, no worries, that's fine. Um, should we check out episode 4? Nope. Nope, there's nothing there either. He's he's not on episode 4 either. But episode 5 is the one. What was EC3 up to on episode 5, two episodes later? He is in a singles match up against Trax, and it's a beefy match here. It's muscly men slapping meat. My favourite kind of wrestling. What? EC3 immediately kicks off the meat fest and destroys him with a lariat and some chops. EC3 hits an exploder suplex before he is then the victim of some slaps himself. However, he hits a Thez press and gets him in the purpose lock while he's bleeding from the nose. EC3 is, he is hardcore and he wins the match with a purpose lock after a TKO onto the knee, which looked pretty sick to be fair. And EC3 gets another win in a fairly dominant way over an enhancement talent. He then gets on the mic and gives his usual stoned monologue. And then Tom Latimer gets on the mic and he comes out to confront him. He wants to fight him right then and there. EC3 replies with more of his stoner monologues, and basically the match is going to happen at the pay-per-view. It's happening at Hard Times 3, EC3 versus Tom Latimer, the rematch from NWA 74. 
And next up, EC3's final appearance to talk about as of right now took place two episodes later, and the title of this episode is EC3 is on a warpath. So let's go ahead and see EC3 on this warpath then, shall we? And it's the main event of the show. He's in the main event, main event Ethan. It's a catchweight exhibition match. Interesting. EC3 versus Mercurio. And spoiler alert, in a move you never saw coming, EC3 beats an enhancement talent in about four minutes. He absolutely brutalizes Mercurio for the entire match, Mercurio getting barely any effective offense in as EC3 just batters him with clubs to the chest. He goes on to start chopping him a bunch and hits an exploder before Mercurio starts to get back into this and wow this is the exact same match as before move for move. Then there's a rest hold, then there's a Thez press, oh my god this is the exact same match. He wins the match though with the essential driver which is basically just awesome Kong's finisher that's all I could think of when I saw it. And of course at the end of the show EC3 gets on the mic and reads his stoned thoughts out loud once again. Please can we stop letting this man on the mic after every single match. Uh, he really just hypes up his match with Tom Latimer at Hard Times 3, but that's about where we're up to with EC3 in the NWA so far. It's not actually been a controlling narrative invasion, other than at NWA 74 and the first Power episode. That's the only time we ever saw any other controlling narrative member rosters appear. So far, it's just been EC3, and we haven't really seen much from the rest of controlling narrative, uh, the roster there. Uh, I guess maybe they might interfere and get involved in his match with Latimer at Hard Times 3. That's a possibility. That match at Hard Times 3 goes down on November 12th. I think there's a couple of power episodes before the pay-per-view. And I'll definitely be doing a follow-up video after Hard Times 3. Overall though, it's been fine. EC3 in the NWA is fine. Like I said, I would like to see more of the CYN roster, get Weston Blake, get Fodder, get Paro, who's already on the NWA roster, but to be fair to EC3, he did say it wasn't an invasion, and so far he's been kind of right. But I've always said that EC3 would be so suited to the NWA, and that would be a smart hire for the NWA main event scene. And right now, he's doing pretty well. I'd like to see him face some bigger stars on the roster, and go for the title like he said he wants to. But obviously, it's still early days, and I hope he does stick around for a while in the NWA, and we can really see where he goes with it, and where they take him in the company. So yeah, overall, it's all good. Hopefully once EC3 gets through Latimer, he'll be more of an integrated member of the roster. We'll start seeing him face the likes of Cardona, Aldis and Murdoch. Have him be the one to take the TV title of Tyrus. In fact, Tyrus just vacated it, didn't he? Never mind. I don't know who the TV champion actually is anymore. But have EC3 win a title, the national title, TV title, women's title, uh, world title, any of them, I think EC3 would be a good champion for the NWA, and it's a, he's a really good get for them. Let's see what they do with him, though. And who knows what the future of Control Your Narrative as a promotion actually even is at this point. But either way, that's been it from me. I'll see you all soon. Follow me on Twitter, like me on Instagram, all that jazz. I'll see you all soon. Goodbye, and keep on rolling.